every single show that I do is a complete surprise. I can feel the crowd, even though my back is to them and I'm, I'm working, I can sort of feel that tension of like, what, what's this guy doing? Performance painter Brian Olson's work makes his audience wonder. Yeah, there's paint, brushes, and a blank black canvas, but there's nothing predictable about the way that he creates portraits. He keeps the crowd guessing until the end. So when you approach the canvas, walk us through, you're looking at this sea of black, but obviously you see an end point where the audience is completely blind to where you might be going. How do you know where to start? Right, so when I'm developing like this piece right here, um, I would always, I always sort of start in this zone here. So I sort of get this, this T-shape figured out. That then frames everything else in the piece. And then everything basically comes together after that. And then you have the background, which is sort of the finale of the piece. So even though you have this shape here, you really don't get the full effect of it until this background comes in and basically covers and frames in, in her hair, uh, the side of her face, her shoulders, and it just brings everything together. And then she can jump right off. And then she jumps right off, yeah. I have sort of two different styles of paintings that I do. One are the multiple brushes in each hand, and that has a certain look to it. Other paintings that I'm not using any brushes at all, just my, my fingers or my hands or maybe an elbow here or there. There are different textures that way too smooth brush strokes versus kind of a, a rough use of the, of the fingers. This piece right here is created entirely with my hands, just my fingers. This is much more of a masculine sort of look, so I wouldn't ever paint Audrey Hepburn just with my fingers. So this is one that I'll use the six brushes at the same time. You, know, you can tell like it's much smoother, the skin tones are even. It just gives a different look, a different texture, and a different feel of the piece. Those styles set, Olsen steps on stage. That's when the audience behind him becomes just as important as all of that technique. For me, there's kind of a back and forth. I can feel the energy from the audience, which really sort of gives me energy on stage that I can then give back to the audience. So there's a lot of paint flying all over the place, different colors and splatters and a lot of action. So a lot of times I'm jumping up in the air to reach the top corners of the pieces or throwing paint in a certain area. But yeah, it's kind of wild and crazy like that. There's massive amounts of adrenaline and energy and all of that, and I really kind of feed off of that. It's a, just a moment in time. And what I'm really trying to do is I'm really trying to share the creative process with my audience. But there's always a surprise. And then when it all comes together, it's, um, I don't know how to describe it, but that's, that's why I love entertaining. It's just a um, cool feeling.